First Person Singular. The views expressed in this piece are those of the writer. Jason Scores shines some light on today's gaslighters. Before describing how corrupt and crazy the Republican Party is, let me say there are a few sane, decent Republicans left, although not many. The party as a whole has thrown whatever principles it once held out the window, and now gaslighting is its primary function. How do I come to this conclusion? Let's take a look at how the majority of elected Republicans have reacted to the indictment of former President Trump for stealing national security documents. We know that Trump lied about it, obstructed justice, and showed the documents to those unauthorized to see them. And how have most elected Republicans responded? First, they say that Biden has weaponized the Department of Justice. Wrong. Biden has done the exact opposite. He didn't interfere at all in the case in any fashion. And it was Trump's DOJ that had weaponized the department, using it to protect Trump's interests and go after his enemies. Second, they say what Trump did might not be great, but it's not so bad. Wrong. If any Democrat, let alone Obama, had done what Trump had done, they would be calling for their execution and calling all Democrats who defended these actions traitors. Third, they say going after a former president makes us a banana republic. Wrong. Not going after a former president who committed so many crimes would make us a banana republic. No one is above the law in a democracy. Finally, they say that Biden's DOJ has let his own son off the hook. Wrong. Merrick Garland put a Trump appointee in charge of the Hunter Biden case, and he concluded that the plea deal was fair. Republicans have had many opportunities to break with the worst president in U.S. history, but they can't quit him because their base is a cult. Jason Scorse teaches public policy in the Monterey Bay Area. For First Person Singular, this is Lori Korn.